The Heritage Shell is 16 points uh, around Industry Hall. Um, there are 10 points inside the house and 6 points around the grounds. We came up with the idea after a review from Sandwell when they came out to the hall uh, to review the teaching at the centre and one of the things that was picked up was the fact that although there's lots to do at the hall, lots of activities provided, one of the things that the hall lacks is getting the kids to engage with the, the history and heritage of the hall, things to do with the paintings and the family and the people that have lived there. So we applied for some money from the Heritage Lottery Fund to do uh, a trail and to work with a local architect Aaron Chetwin and one of the schools that visits us regularly from San Juan Moat Farm Junior School to come out and do some work together to work out what sorts of things that the young people would like in the Heritage Trail. Well, I met up with Anthony and we sort of brainstormed about ideas and this history trail. Then we sort of came up with the idea of the follies from that original concept of the plot scheme, which is this formal garden. So we've got all these sort of wonderful follies and we thought it would be a great idea to get the children who are at the hall involved with, with the landscape on a, on a larger scale and the hall and sort of to address what the hall meant in its historical context. The idea of follies was really strong because it's sort of what follies were built for. You'd go out for a walk and you'd find these sort of points of interest and then they would you know, lead you to a different view of the landscape or the building. It's great, I'm really enjoying it, being involved in this sort of conceptual side of things. And you know, hopefully we can develop it into other projects, similar projects. I think it's also good to you know, get out there and say, well actually we can do interesting things. Moat Farm Junior came out for a week and took part in lots and lots of workshops. We had various visits from the Earl of Shrewsbury and Jill Broadbent who works um, closely with the Industry Parish Council and she provides some activities for us to do with the church. Maria Watton, who's a storyteller for Keel University, spent a few days researching everything and then she came in to tell the kids some of the stories, which was really nice and they really enjoyed that. We also had some actors come in. So for instance, we had uh, the maid working in the laundry and then we took the kids on a walkabout and round the house and they interacted with these characters and they really engaged in that and that was really, really nice to see. Um, once they highlighted some of the stories that they particularly liked, we then got them to create work based on those stories in their art forms. So the artists actually did quite a lot with the um, Chetwin Talbot coat of arms that you'll see on the trail and um, incorporated into one of the boards. And the musicians wrote a song called Industry 50. The lyrics to that song are on the, the celebratory board on the entrance. And they also wrote some poems that I think uh, you will see on the trail. The dance group did a really, really nice piece about eating in the dining room and the sort of formalities of eating in the dining room with the Shrewsbury family. And the drama group did a fantastic game of Cluedo that we used for the Cluedoscope to, to get the images and the, uh, the ideas and the stories and the alibis behind the Cluedoscope. So they then created all that work to go into the trail because we wanted to incorporate it. So it wasn't just us creating the trail, they had an awful lot of input into it too. It's very important for the children to learn about the heritage of Industry Hall, so as they can make links with where the buildings come from and who's lived here before. We had a tour yesterday, we went into all the different rooms and met actors and actresses portraying people from the past. The kids had a wonderful time, they thoroughly enjoyed it, it brought the history to life. This morning it was ace, we met the real Earl of Shrewsbury, he was phenomenal. He brought in his coronet and the kids thought he was amazing. Talked about Parliament, talked about his job, talked about his family, told some really interesting stories and uh, I think the children will take that back. We have been a few years now and um, I think every time we learn something new about the house, this year especially because of the fact we've had the treasure hunts and heritage trails and gone around and been into rooms that we've never been in before and the children have learnt so many new things that even us as teachers who've been here years on end haven't even known about the place, about the people that lived here, about the grounds, about the relationship with each other. So. It's absolutely phenomenal the kind of things that we've learned. The fact that they're in a place that is beyond their imagination really opens up their creative knowledge and abilities. This is the way I think in particular they're able to develop new ideas and new thoughts. I think the week has, has gone so quickly that 
we haven't really had time to take in everything that's, got, that's gone on. The children have, have absorbed so much information and then used it in such a creative way that it's been amazing. As the children are coming from um, an urban environment to a rural environment, I think it's pretty important for them to understand what has happened in the hall, the heritage of the hall, um, the people who have worked here and the people who do work here now. I think the general impact of the place, because it's such a, a big and different environment, they'll naturally go home and want to share everything they've done, um, share all the history um, and talk about all the activities they've done within the building. I think all the students will go home really enthused about history. Um, already we've got children running around saying, I can't believe this painting was painted then. Miss, have you heard about how much the paintings are worth in the building? And I definitely think they'll take back their work and say what a wonderful time they've had and talk about what they've learnt about the house. I think it's an enormous benefit to them. I've spoken to many people who spent their formative years on and off here at Inga Street and it has changed their lives. I think it's the most incredible place. Every time I've seen them here, they look full of fun, having a whale of a time. Uh, certainly this morning, their questions have been wonderful and very, very articulated and, and, and intelligent. I can imagine that you know, there are some spots in the black country where it would be very difficult for people to learn about the rural side of, of life and arts and crafts and everything else. Industry fulfills that, and I think it is the most wonderful thing. If you look at the hall, the Nash House, that in itself is incredibly important. The church, the only Wren church north of London, with carving work inside by Grindling Gibbons, the new stables. If you look at everything around here and the contents, it is part of a serious, fun history lesson. It is enormous, enormous history, and their education would not be complete without having it rounded with things like that. We've focused on sustainability with the, all the boards and all the points, the conversations that we've had with all the people that have helped us and all the contractors that have been working out in the grounds and that have been producing the boards and things um, about how hard wearing everything is and how easily maintained it is. So I'm hoping that the, uh, the trail will be in place for quite a long time. The activities that we've provided will make the sort of history side of it fun for the children and their learning. Things like the camera obscura, the, um, the observatory, obviously there's connections there with science and curricular activities and hopefully it will make it just a little bit more fun for them to learn. Um, we often find that at industry that some of the children that find it hard in a classroom environment really thrive at industry because they get to learn in an alternative way and uh, by doing things like the camera obscura where they're actually almost the learning is a byproduct of the activity. I suppose my reason for doing the Heritage Trail is for the information and the things that we know about Industry Hall and the Chetwin Talbots and the early Shrewsbury um, to carry on and for people to actively be able to learn about it and understand a little bit about the people that used to live here and some of the things that have gone on here.